This is Tom and Paula Grace from Light of Christ Radio with a story from our series on the book of Esther entitled For Such a Time as This. You're welcome to watch this video simply for the story, or you can use it as the basis of a small group study. The small group study instructions are below the video in the more section. Today, we begin our series entitled For Such a Time as This, and we look at Esther chapters 1 and 2, where we see a new queen. Well, Paula, as we uh, begin today, let's set the context of our story. The Babylonians had destroyed Jerusalem and took most of the Jews to their country. But almost 70 years later, Persia conquered Babylon and allowed the Jews to return to their native land. Well, some Jews returned to Jerusalem, but many stayed in Persia. Our story today happens during that Persian rule. And even though Jews were beginning to rebuild Jerusalem at this time, Esther and Mordecai continued to live among the Persians. But God will use these two seemingly insignificant people to save the Jews. Which brings us to a story from the Word of God. The story of Esther begins during the reign of Xerxes, king of Persia. He threw a lavish party for government officials with wine flowing freely. At some point in the party, Xerxes, drunk with wine, commanded his wife to show off her beauty for his guests, but Queen Vashti refused. Her refusal precipitated a national crisis. What if her insubordination encouraged all Persian wives to despise their husbands? So upon the vice of his council, the king demoted Vashti from her royal post. After a while, King Xerxes got over being angry, but he kept thinking about what Vashti had done and the law he had written because of her. Then the king's personal servant said, Your majesty, a search must be made to find you some beautiful young woman. You can select officers in every province to bring them to the place where you keep your wives in the capital city of Susa. Put your servant Hegai in charge of them since that is his job, and he can see to it that they are given the proper beauty treatments. Then let the young women who pleases you most take Vashti's place as queen. King Xerxes liked these suggestions and he followed them. At this time, a Jew named Mordecai was living in Susa. His ancestors had been taken from Jerusalem by the Babylonians. Mordecai had a very beautiful cousin named Esther. He had raised her as his own daughter after her father and mother died. And when the king ordered the search for the beautiful women, many were taken to the king's palace in Susa, and Esther was one of them. He guy was put in charge of all the women, and from the first day, Esther was his favorite. He began her beauty treatments at once. He also gave her plenty of food and seven special maids from the king's palace, and they had the best rooms. Now Mordecai had warned Esther not to tell anyone that she was a Jew, and she obeyed him. He was anxious to see how Esther was getting along and to learn what had happened to her. So each day he would walk back and forth in front of the court where the women lived. The young women were given beauty treatments for one whole year. The first six months, their skin was rubbed with olive oil and myrrh. In the last six months, it was treated with perfumes and cosmetics. Then each of them spent a night alone with King Xerxes. And when a young woman went to the king, she could wear whatever clothes or jewelry she chose from the woman's living quarters. In the evening, she would go to the king, and following morning, she would go to the place where the wives stayed after being with him. Only the ones the king wanted and asked for by name could go back to the king. Xerxes had been king for seven years when Esther's turn came to go to him during the 10th month of the year. Everyone liked Esther. The king's personal servant, Hegai, was in charge of the women. And he entrusted Hegai and asked, or Esther trusted Hegai, and asked him what she ought to take with her. Xerxes liked Esther more than he did any of the other young women. None of them pleased him as much as she did, and he immediately fell in love with her and crowned her queen in place of Vashti. In honor of Esther, he gave a big dinner for his leaders and officials. Then he declared a holiday everywhere in his kingdom and gave expensive gifts. And this is a story from the Word of God. If you are using this video for a small group application, after you've watched this video, try retelling the story from what you've heard. Then read the text. Discussion questions are below the video in the more section. We hope you'll discover something from this story to apply to your everyday life. May you be blessed.